Yo, what's good everybody and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So we are now currently at breakfast. Jack went ahead and already started eating his breakfast burrito. I know we're just getting right into the vlog, but man oh man, how amazing is this? Uh, Talk about it. I might even tap out. Look at this tap thing. Tap out already? No, 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 but look at this thing. You got bacon, you got sausage, you got hash browns, you got the serrano peppers. Shout out Nate's Corner. Come on. Now, before we get started and before I get into my burrito, I did want to talk about kind of what we're doing today. So we've been having such a good time thrift shopping, you know, uh, vintage shopping, all that good stuff. We actually just went yesterday. We decided to kind of step it up a little bit. This is somewhat of a secondhand store. It's not necessarily cheap and it's by no means a thrift. So we're just going to put that disclaimer out there right now. It is not a thrift shop. But it is kind of like a secondhand store. Anyways, that's gonna probably be the main focus of today's vlog. Visit there, see what they have. They allegedly have a ton of sick brands and stuff like that. Um, so it should be good. Uh, we're also gonna put around probably South Coast Plaza and other thrifts in this general area. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Now it is time for breakfast for me. I've been waiting on this burrito for a hot minute. All right guys, so we just pulled up here to Phil's Coffee. We actually already got the coffee because we used the app to order it. This is his first time trying it out, but beforehand, I just wanted to take a second to give credit where it's due and just look at Jack's outfit. Uh, start out with the jacket. It's a little, little Raf piece from 95. 1995 uh, Raf. One of Raf's first collections actually. It's a great bomber. It's like a combination of kind of like a high neck track jacket and like a bomber. Pants are uh, Junior Watanabe, Comme des Garcons, Spring 17. They're like super light, flowy trousers. And then uh, Dries Derbies, Dries Van Noten. Shout out San, she has the same hair here. Yeah. Actually put me on them. And then the uh, Prada bag, obviously great. That's necessity. my Prada bag, give it back. Yeah, right? Let me see your fit. Let's go, let's go over <laughs> the fit. Let's, dude, let's do it. It's simple today, dude. Simple, yeah, just keep it simple with uh, Ruigi, Ruigi vibes, root vibes, keeping it really simple. It's a sunny day. It's going to something flowy. Um, I did get this tailored because this shirt was really strange in that it was so long, it was like a dress. So I did get it altered. Like it's OG already too. Yeah, and it's lines. and it's still long. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, I was gonna tell. It's I was gonna still say, long, yeah, it's right? Still long. And then uh, just a pair of minimal denim. But actually, do. actually, this is for when it like cools down a little bit. So, and then I also have my chains. I just don't feel like wearing them right now. But that's gonna be the fit, the fit, fit pick for later. Yeah, so. for sure. That's All right, my guy. I need you to try that for the camera. He hasn't tried it yet. What is this, bro? Little fake sticky. Oh, that's good. Yeah, bro. That's it's like a treat, right? Yeah, no, it's a treat. This is treat coffee. We drink black coffee, so this is this is street coffee. What's up guys, so we just got here into Second Street. We're gonna be kind of putting around shopping and all the good stuff. Um, I know that they have a ton of designer brands, as I probably mentioned earlier. Oh, John Elliott. Okay. That's sick, dude. You're right, I have been sleeping, dude. I don't know. This is a great jacket. Right here. These are so nice, dude. Oh, dude, they're too big. They have the shoes that Jerry made. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh! I knew I knew this denim. I felt it. I was like, wait a second, dude. I know those. They're minimal here. Yeah, yeah. I saw those earlier. Can I see something? Can I use Paul 10 on this? Is it above retail? Oh, no. Some Ralph cords. A cactus jacks. Reacts. Mastodons. Tons and tons of Gucci. Lots of Louis Vuitton as well. It's a great uh, Prada shoulder bag. I like that a lot. It's a really great calm vest. Let's go look at the Supreme. Oh, Fear of God, they have a whole section of Fear. Oh, what? Man, what a nostalgic piece. Do you guys remember this? Third collection. This was a very, very big statement piece with the bomber. Do you remember this, Jack? This piece? 
Back in the day, dude, with a bomber for the third collection campaign. I remember the red and white boots. Too. Yeah. Now the tanks are what we're super popular too. Yeah, the tanks. Speaking of nostalgia, talk about it, dude. How many times did you rip that piece? I ripped this thing probably three times. It always tore right here because the zippers were just, you know, they're way too heavy for uh, the fabric, but still. Do you freaking remember this, bro? This might be second collection. It is. Do you remember this, bro? Remember, th this was like the first oh, yeah. introduction to the zip. Like, actually, this is, this is my first scene, uh, my first time seeing zipper on a final. I thought it was the coolest thing. Lots of essentials. This is a nice little piece. Oh, wow, it's heavy. It's a great piece, it's right? Really Classic, piece. timeless. I love the collar. Got the um, corduroy there. It's like a cream corduroy. I'm gonna try this jacket on. What? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's a perfect fit, Jack. I even like how it bunches up in this area. It just fits right. I really want to spend 500 bucks, dude. I'm definitely going to think about it. I wasn't planning on getting another jacket today. I have too many, but... I think it fits so well. What's up guys, so we just got here into the fitting room. Lighting's actually pretty good in here, so I might get some decent shots at what I was able to find. So first thing is this porter bag. Actually, Jack found this for me, so shout out to him. Just a really nice little bag. It's got a little clasp there. It's a great waist bag, just kind of wear it. Um, up front and stuff and it's actually really fairly priced all right so the next thing i found is this nike times john elliott collab jacket it's just a really simple jacket um it is like a really thick heavy nylon uh, i'm not crazy about how it fits so i think i'm gonna pass on it but i just thought i'd show you guys it's pretty nice though like the quality for sure is really nice the last thing i grabbed was this pair of margiela denim straight fit um it's like a i guess like a silvery gray colorway but i don't feel like wearing or like trying on jeans right now i just really don't feel like take off my pants so i'm probably just gonna pass on them i have so much denim what's up guys so we just got here to south coast plaza we are gonna run over to the webster check out what they have see if they got anything new oh but this is like some high school cheerleader type of shit. high school cheerleader <laughs> That's what it looks like bro oh my god i swear bro, i took that Look how sick this jacket is, guys. It's two pieces. The inside is cotton. It's like a cotton jacket, standard like hoodie. And then the sleeves are denim. I really like how that looks. It's insanely heavy though. I would wear those, yeah. I'd totally wear those. What's that? Got the ruffle pants in nylon. So good. What's that? She didn't know they were out already, but I know Nike's dropping a pair that looks really similar with the midsole that's that obviously has air in it. It's a clean shoe, but I don't necessarily need these. What is good, everybody? So we're here in Uniqlo, and I actually found a good amount of stuff. Um, I got some really cool sweaters and some shirts and stuff like that. If you guys don't know, this is a really great place to buy basics, and everything's very good quality, fits you know pretty well, I'd say. Uh, obviously, I have the right size, but I'll show you what I have. I got a nice pair of like these washed sweats. You can never, you know, get have enough sweats. Those are French Terry. Um, just this nice thick t-shirt. Composure is really nice. Those are the sweaters I talked about. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this stuff on and hopefully uh, you guys like it. So here is just, you know, your basic t-shirt. Um, it's a bit on the thicker side, which I do like a lot. And Jack told me that uh, they don't show sweat. So that's really nice as well. Yeah, I really like how it fits. I think I'm gonna purchase it. It's just like a nice fitting shirt, slimmer here uh, towards the midsection. I mean, I'm not crazy about that, but I don't mind it either. This is gonna be the next size up of the Uniqlo U t-shirt. Again, I really am loving this composition. The, the fabric is just so good. 
It's really nice. So here's that sweater. They're on sale for $14. I think I'm going to get it. Um, I did go for size XL to get it oversized. And as you can see here, uh, it does give that like drop shoulder effect. And I think when I get home, I am going to do a little DIY to it. Um, and just uh, distress and kind of open this up a little bit more because it is kind of bunching up down there at the bottom. But I think this could be a fun little project and a cool little sweater. I uh, just kind of kind of make my own. Yeah, I'm definitely going to open up that and uh, yeah, make sure that it's just a bit more flowy, but I think there's definitely a lot of potential in this garment. So here are those French Terry sweats. I'm actually really loving them. They have like an over dyed look to them. I don't know, hopefully you guys can pick it up. Uh, they are kind of like a straight cut. So uh, I do like how they look for sure. I might go ahead and size up just because I would like a pair that's like kind of baggy and like cozy and stuff like that. Now here's a size medium, again with the over dyed type of look, but this time it's olive obviously. I don't know man, comment down below which one you think fits better. Obviously the other pair was a bit more slim, these ones are baggier in this region. I'm honestly leaning towards these. So we're sitting here, I need a little break, and I came up with an idea. Jack, yes. I have a question. What is your least favorite brand fast fashion wise? H&M Forever 21 for sure. It's garbage. Just no, 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 but if you terrible. had to pick one, which one's the worst? I would have to say Forever 21. I never have taken their men seriously. So let's put that to the test, Jack. I want to challenge you to make an outfit at Forever 21. We'll do it. For me. We'll Are do you it. down? I'm, I'm down just for you and for the video and for you guys. Shout out you guys. You're a legend. Thinking, God. Bro, I'm thinking I would not step in here if it wasn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's okay. Give you me can... a vibe. Give me a vibe. Vibe. Okay. I want you to cross vibe. reference my fit and your fits. Okay. So let's just say. Me... I got a browse the whole store first, I guess. Anything they could do to put Supreme on a t shirt. Oh my. Jack's going in with no regard for human life, dude. Bro, I can't even. It's there's not so something stressed. without type on it. It's terrible. He said this is not terrible. Oh, Daniel Patrick. Oh, that's ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Little NASA hair and Preston collab. Hey, my man's going in. It's like everything they do, they run with it super hard. Look at all those stripes, like bro. All the trends. Yeah, it's like, let's make 50 striped bowling shirts this season. <laughs> they really commit, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, peekaboo. <laughs> Jack, if you put this shirt on, dude. I'll, I will give you three dollars right now. Will, no, I'll buy you Starbucks. You can right buy now. me any kind of coffee. coffee. On me. I would. Please I would not even on. take fills, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not mad at this, I guess. Oh, he's not mad at it. Yeah, How about of course. That? All it takes is them to make a regular silhouette and a regular colorway and a regular fabrication for me to be okay with it. I'm not rocket science. Jack, what are you doing? Giving the people what they want. These <laughs> are cheaper than their clothes. <laughs> so you're saying they have uh, high quality clothes? Precisely. Extra small for the T5? Oh, V necks, baby. <laughs> v necks, baby. <laughs> Where is the plain t shirt? <laughs> Get started. Jack, you're tickling me, dude. It's too funny. Just take this and run with it. <laughs> so if you guys have never been to a fast fashion store with a guy like Jack, go make a friend who's like him. It's so funny in a store like this with somebody like him. It's so funny. Like it's the best. I'm having such a good time. Anyways, um, so here's the outfit that he kind of put together for me. Yeah, it's supposed to make you look 100 pounds when you're 70. <laughs> Oh my lord. Bro, I feel like, I feel like I'm big, but I'm not like big. But I feel like this venture makes me look big. Yeah, bro, Super Saiyan. 
So this is the outfit that Jack put together for me. What we have here is a white t-shirt, pretty simple, basic, tucked it in into these black trousers. They are a skinnier fit, more slim fit actually. A uh, lots of room in the, the thigh area, which I do like. Appreciate that. And then did go for it. Actually stayed with a size large on the bowling shirt. Uh, definitely a good look. I think you killed it. I mean, for I mean, I know it was like y'all want it forever twenty one. <laughs> I know it was excruciating for Jack, but I mean. Just goes to show, man, a good artist can use any canvas.